Hello and welcome to this introduction to MarkLogic. What businesses want is a unified, actionable 360 view of their data. Whether it is a unified view of customers, patients, financial trades, manufacturing parts, or anything else, every business benefits from an up-to-date, comprehensive view of their data. The reality is that data is locked up in silos, making it challenging to both run and see your business. For example, we've probably all seen this before. Moving data into a new repository can be a major challenge. We've been tied to a schema, and that inflexible dependence results in countless delays. First, we work with IT to define and document business requirements. Then IT goes back to try and build a model to support your requirements, which can involve lots of time and money. But in reality, this isn't realistic. Murphy's Law says you won't be able to anticipate all your needs up front. Requirements evolve, new data is introduced, so rework is done, and more time and more money is spent. After all of this, if you're lucky, and after spending lots of time and money, you get something that you can actually use. But there's good news. The root cause of this pain is curable. MarkLogic is an operational and transactional enterprise NoSQL database. It is the best way to integrate data from silos because it's easy and fast to get data in, easy and fast to get data out, and it's 100% trusted with enterprise capabilities. Everyone is looking to fulfill the mantra of better, faster, cheaper, no matter the industry. Many major companies have solved their data integration problems with MarkLogic. One example use case for MarkLogic would be as an operational data hub. It allows you to start with the business problem, decide what data is needed to feed an API that addresses the problem, and then integrate and curate the data. It gives organizations the ability to build a centralized 360 view of data, but in a way that is much faster and more agile than any other hub and spoke architecture. But with the fine-grained security controls, MarkLogic allows organizations to tightly control how data is accessed and shared. This approach to data can lead to much faster results than with traditional relational databases. The issue is that every time a new data source is added in, or an existing one changes, a traditional relational model will break, potentially taking up valuable time and effort to handle. With the ability to transform, store, and serve your data, MarkLogic can offer a unified architecture. If you were to try and achieve the same goal with a legacy approach, you would have to purchase and integrate multiple disparate technologies costing time and money. And open source may cut down on the purchase cost, but it doesn't save on IT costs to integrate the technologies. And furthermore, many of the open source technologies do not provide the same enterprise features and capabilities that MarkLogic has out of box. This means your developers may need to spend time and effort to add them in. Now MarkLogic won't be running in a vacuum in your enterprise. Data will need to be loaded and worked with, Details on how the system is performing will need to be accessible, and the database contents should be available for analysis. Being an open platform and supporting industry standards such as REST allows you to leverage common tools and methodology when implementing a MarkLogic solution. Your developers will be able to use projects such as NiFi to ease data ingestion and Gradle to automate deployments. Once installed and running, Admins will appreciate that environmental details are freely available to those with appropriate security permissions, of course, allowing for the use of Nagios or other infrastructure monitoring suites. And data isn't any good if it can't be leveraged. And MarkLogic can securely serve your data to be used by a variety of BI analytics tools. Security is critical to maintaining data integrity and trust. MarkLogic has focused on providing government-grade security from the start, 
and has fine-grained certified security. It is for this reason that MarkLogic has chosen to run the most demanding, mission-critical applications at the heart of large investment banks, major healthcare organizations, and classified government systems. MarkLogic uses a document-centric data model to store data, and each document is governed by specific roles and permissions. By default, each user is assigned any number of roles, and those roles are associated with any number of privileges and permissions. Privileges govern the creation of documents and execution of functions, and permissions govern what can be done with the document, whether it's read, insert, update, or execute. Security checks verify the necessary credentials before granting the requested action, and security information is stored in a specific security database in MarkLogic. This means that security can be assigned for the database as a whole, for specific portions of the database, for individual documents. It also means that security configurations can be shared across projects if desired. For example, I can make sure that the documents relating to a field test for a new technology would only be accessible to those individuals who are in our engineering role, our top secret role, and our U.S. citizen role. An engineer on loan from England Royal Air Force would be lacking the U.S. citizen role and be unable to access the data, as would our new intern who is in engineering and a U.S. citizen but is not going through the vetting system to earn a top secret clearance. What if data is to be exported from MarkLogic? Would you want all of that data leaving as is? For example, if I'm going to hand off the results of clinical trials to some external researchers, they shouldn't be getting the personally identifying information for their participants. We need to make sure that they could still correlate the data, but without access to social security numbers and the like. For that reason, MarkLogic allows for the creation of redaction rules, allowing data to be adjusted on export. So we can get the data in, index it, search it, and protect access to it. These are all excellent and needed capabilities, but there are still a few things needed to be considered enterprise ready. Part of being enterprise ready is to make sure that the data itself is safe, consistent, and available when needed, and easy for my developers to work with. MarkLogic is ACID compliant. This means that your data and your transactions can be relied upon. Either the entire transaction will commit or none of it. We will never end up with half a transaction in the database. Once committed, the resulting data is immediately available and leverageable. Multiple transactions will not be allowed to modify the same data at the same time. And once the transaction has committed, that data will continue to exist even across power failures and other unexpected interruptions. In order to be enterprise ready, you need to be able to keep up with the demands of a global enterprise. To facilitate this, MarkLogic can be installed on a cluster of nodes. The E nodes will run app servers and act as a window into the cluster. The D nodes will index, store, and process all of the content. With the architecture of MarkLogic, we can grow or shrink our cluster to meet the demands we are facing. Historically, those nodes would have all been running in racks in my data center, but times change. According to one survey, by 2020, the public cloud market is predicted to grow threefold to half a trillion dollars. The cloud is a huge shift in IT and provides enormous benefits. But there's also a note of caution. In the rush to the cloud, most organizations use only one vendor. It's important not to bet your business on just one cloud provider by building an app that will work only with that one provider. In other words, beware of vendor lock-in. With MarkLogic, you can write your application once and run it anywhere. This means any public cloud provider, a hybrid environment, or on-premises. If you want to make changes later on, that's okay. You do not need a new license. MarkLogic has been successfully running in the cloud for over a decade and you can trust it to run your cloud applications. And of course, we need to handle the what ifs. What if I lose a node? What if the sprinklers go off in our machine room? 
or there's a natural disaster, would my data still be available? Data integrity is paramount, and data needs to be continuously available no matter what. MarkLogic offers automated failover for high availability protecting against component failure with computers, networking equipment, and power supplies. This capability is available whether you are using local disks or network attached storage. MarkLogic also has full database replication for disaster recovery to protect against failures of an entire data center, such as power outages, natural disasters, etc. You can quickly and easily back up selected components or the entire database all securely using SSL out of the box. Additionally, you can still have the peace of mind of scheduled backups. These backups can occur hot, so no downtime is incurred. With MarkLogic, you can get your business logic as close to your data as you would like. On the server side, you can choose between using JavaScript and XQuery. This means you are empowered to write code on the server close to your data. For customers that wish to build applications in two-tiered or three-tiered architectures, we offer client APIs for Node.js and Java. And for customers that wish to build applications in some other programming language, we offer a robust REST API. MarkLogic is a schema-agnostic, multi-model database. What this means for us is that MarkLogic won't force you to have all of your data looking exactly the same before you can ingest it. Being able to ingest JSON, XML, and full text data as is provides a tremendous value. Think about a data set where some of the documents only have a few elements or properties, while others have a hundred or even thousands. In a traditional relational database, this would mean having large tables that may be mostly empty. Then add in the complexity of what happens if a new element appears. With MarkLogic, we can forego those worries and consume the data as is. As a bonus, JSON and XML are self-describing. So if the data is taken out of context, we still know what each element is and what it represents. This is not the same as a relational database. If you were to take a row from a table out of context, you may not be able to tell what each column represents. Data will often have a locational element to it. It may be a soil sample test from a specific point at a dig site, a circular region for an area of influence, or a complex shape such as a postal code or voting district. MarkLogic understands this geospatial information and allows you to leverage and search across it and all of the other data in your system at the same time. Semantics is a data model that focuses on relationships, which adds contextual meaning around the data so it can be better understood, searched, and shared. This is done through the use of triples, made up of a subject, a predicate, and an object. MarkLogic can act as a triple store, allowing you to leverage the power of semantic triples and Sparkle queries along with your normal documents and standard search mechanisms. These triples can be used to establish relationships between documents and act as joins. Facts by themselves are nice and can be useful. Being able to leverage them to realize new facts and make connections can be powerful. MarkLogic allows for this by acting as a triple store with inference capabilities. As a simple example, let's say that we have a set of rules that we know for the Star Wars universe. One of those rules is that Jedi use lightsabers. We then ingest an RDF triple that tells us that Yoda is a Jedi. Using the rules, we can infer that Yoda uses a lightsaber. We didn't add the fact explicitly into the system, but we're still able to determine that through semantic inference. Now that is a fairly lighthearted example, but it makes an important point. With MarkLogic, I can use RDF triples to establish relationships between my entities, forgoing the effort of creating, tracking, and maintaining a complex set of interwoven tables, foreign keys, nested queries, and complex joins. Not only can MarkLogic as a whole handle all of your data, each document that you store could be a mixture of those information types, 
and MarkLogic enables you to leverage it all. So you can have a report that contains not only the main body of text, but also some properties for the report, where the report is applicable in the form of geospatial data, and even some specific facts and relationships via RDF triples for semantics. This report can be submitted once in its entirety, and as soon as it is committed within MarkLogic, all of this data and its indexes will be available. MarkLogic has enterprise search built in, enabling organizations to turn big data, petabytes of information stored across multiple systems, into useful results without the need to shred the data. MarkLogic indexes all data on load and makes it immediately searchable. The full text search engine in MarkLogic makes it an ideal platform to power advanced search applications. MarkLogic's full text search includes faceting, real-time alerting, type ahead suggestions, snippeting, language support, and much more. Search applications are in production that have billions of documents and petabytes of data and provide relevant, accurate search results with sub-second response times. What did they know and when did they know it? The Mark Logic by Temporal feature helps answer this critical question by tracking how data changes along two dimensions of time and is the only NoSQL database with this capability. A bitemporal database makes it possible to rewind information as it actually was, in combination with as it was recorded at a specific point in time. This capability gives you more power to go back in time and explore data, manage historical data across systems, ensure data integrity, and do complex temporal analysis with ease. This can be of critical importance for anyone in a regulated industry. Because the bitemporal feature is built into the server as part of our intelligent data layer, you inherit the benefits of other features such as alerting, tiered storage, and semantics, all while maintaining security and transactional consistency. Let's look at an example. We have some details about where our customer Greg has been living. We know that he started the year in San Jose, spent a month in San Diego, and then moved out to Atlanta. Important details about a regulation change were sent to Greg in mid-February, but he never received them, so now his lawyer is asking why. In a traditional representation of this information, all we know is where he was. With Bitemporal, not only do I know where he was, but when we knew it. It turns out Greg sent in a change of address notification when he left San Jose, but it didn't arrive and get processed until March 9th. When he moved from San Diego to Atlanta, he used an online tool to update his current address. So for a span of six days, we thought he moved directly from San Jose to Atlanta. Bitemporal allows us to see the big picture and be able to answer questions such as, on February 10th, where did you think Greg lived easily and accurately? Now that you have a basic introduction to MarkLogic, what should you do next? Well, knowledge is power. Please check out our other on-demand courses for more details on how MarkLogic works and how it can benefit you. Also, we offer free training classes conducted by live instructors. There are classes available for both administrators and developers. If you would like to jump right in, MarkLogic can be downloaded from our developer website. This is also where you can sign up for MarkLogic mailing lists. We hope you have enjoyed this introduction to MarkLogic, and we look forward to seeing you in a future MarkLogic University class.